On episode number 54 of Press This, we talk about advanced custom fields. And we'll take a look at its cousin types. Show me potato salad. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Press This. I'm your host, Matt. And I'm Dan. This is episode 54, 54. of this amazing series of WordPress stuff. Mm-hmm. Been there, done that, got a t-shirt, right? Yeah. Right. Uh, so what do we do? We take a look at some of the awesome stuff in WordPress world, p- themes, plugins, other various fun stuff. Mash it together, wrap some context around it, give it back to you. Hopefully you learn a thing or two. Please subscribe, folks. Yes. Took the words right out of my mouth, sir. Good job. Slickupstudio.com slash subscribe. Hit the big old red subscribe button on the YouTubes if you're watching it from there. Comment. Right. Um, we have the new forums yes. uh, on our, right on our website, slocumstudio.com slash forums. Get involved. If you have questions, hopefully you get an answer. We get tons of questions. Mm-hmm. We want you to get an answer as quickly as possible. You know what's crazy? Now that we've launched the forums, yeah. I've seen an increase of contact forms come in yeah. asking these questions. Yeah. Uh, if you can't find the forums, let us know in the comments yeah, yeah. Uh, because we want to make sure that uh, all the questions go there. Sure. It's so much easier to, to answer that way yeah. and everybody gets to see what it is you have a question about. Absolutely. So Dan, we're going to look at something that might be a little bit intermediate yeah. today because people who have been asking, how do you guys build these mm-hmm. custom mm-hmm. WordPress sites? What does it mean to go custom? You know, why aren't people just installing these mm-hmm. themes? And what is it about these themes that yeah. people just need more of, right? Absolutely. Uh, there's, there's always going to be things that, you know, somebody, you go to somebody and they want you to do something specific. And sometimes the WordPress as it is, even with a couple quick plugins, isn't going to do it for you. Right. And for that, you need to go custom. So this episode isn't really going to be about the whole solution because that takes lots of man hours and, and, and everything like that to do. What it's going to do is it's going to put you on the right path with a couple great plugins that can kind of get you in the right direction. Yeah. Um, you know, specifically with metadata right? yes. <laughs> and custom fields. Mm-hmm. Um, and what about, you know, how do we get WordPress to just more than a blogging or a simple mm-hmm. website tool? How do we get it to a real content management system? Yeah. I have more than just a post and a page to write. I have a menu. I have an mm-hmm. inventory. I have an e-commerce yeah. thing. I have a website that has, look at all, like like the new healthcare website. Yep. All the data that's involved with that Absolutely. site. Um, how do you do that? Well, we're going to look at two plugins today. Mm-hmm. One called Advanced Custom Fields and one called Types. Mm-hmm. Uh, both free in the repository. Yes. Both really awesome yeah. plugins to do this stuff. Both with both with freemium potential, you might say. Yeah, both with freemium potential, exactly. Uh, why don't you go ahead and introduce our first one? Sure, so we have Advanced Custom Fields. This is the one that uh, a few folks had commented on, one of the reasons that kind of sparked the interest in this episode, actually. It's by Elliot Condon. It has 1.2 million downloads, so quite a few people talking about this one. A lot of reviews. I've had 100 reviews at 4.9 out of 5 stars. So people really like this plugin. Yeah. Uh, and it was updated within the last month, too, so it's up to date as always, too. Yeah. Um, now, a really quick thing uh, in, when talking about it, when going into something like this, is there is a lot of code required. Um, but what we're going to talk about today is sort of what this plugin is going to look like on the back end of, of WordPress and the future. You know, you do have to work with developers on it and things like that, but what yeah. it's going to look like there. So when you first installed this plugin, when we were brainstorming about the next episode, yeah. you, you actually thought that yeah. you could install this plugin yeah. and... Just throw it right in there. Throw it right in there. And, and yeah. the stuff that you were typing in the back mm-hmm. end should mm-hmm. magically appear yep. in the front end. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. That was your initial... Yes. That was your initial yeah. thought. I was like, oh, wait a minute. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't do this. That'd be, that would be too easy. <laughs> right. Um, so we've always talked about how plugins can affect the theme or how the theme can yeah. alternatively affect the plugins. Mm-hmm. This is very true in this case where using one of these, either of these plugins, yep. you're going to have to modify your theme yep. a little bit mm-hmm. to output this data. Yeah. There is no way for um, work for a plugin to just automatically spit out that data. Like mm-hmm. where is it going to go? Yeah. How is it going to look? Sure. There's no way mm-hmm. that a custom field plugin can know what your plug what your theme is right. and where where this mm-hmm. information is supposed yep. to spit out. It's yep. virtually impossible. Right. Um, it's the way it's designed. It's just the way it's designed. Unless they work, unless they came out with something that said works with X Y Z themes, but even that would be so tremendously difficult because how do you format the data? Like, is it a table? Is it a row? 
Right. Does it appear over here? Mm -hmm. Does one appear over here? You, you don't know. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have to dive into your theme. Mm -hmm. The good news is Advanced Custom Fields has stellar documentation. Yes. Right? Incredible documentation. Incredible documentation. Yes. It'll help you get to that point. Mm -hmm. You're going to get your hands a little dirty, though. Right. You still want to be, you still want to have a slight background or some knowledge around coding uh, to use it, but right. it provides you with all the, you know, the, 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 uh, the code you need right. Uh, right, in, right in the website. Right. Um, so. Support. We use advanced custom fields a lot yes. here at the studio, and well, I, I just we just really love the, the user interface. It's super clean, mm -hmm. it's elegant, it works, it's fast. Mm -hmm. uh, it's actually probably one of the best plugin backend mm -hmm. options pages yes. we've used. And this is not this can be very basic. You can just like use it yep. to make a restaurant menu, yep. or you can make some tremendous like data sites with right. this you could add you could add you could simply add a for example um a, a a google maps form right and then once you've typed you put in your code and you've tapped into it you could have it so you can display the location of something on google maps on a web page right. or you could go as crazy as creating full-on pages with you know menu items all over the place and yep. allowing it to be very easily editable by by somebody else or whatever you need to do yeah um, so what really separates the two, the, yes. these two plugins, so advanced custom fields, 1.2 million downloads, which is five times the amount of downloads types is received. Um, but advanced custom fields works with the mindset where you need to make a custom post type, or you could make a custom post type if you wanted to. Um, a lot of folks will do that. They'll make a custom post type. Like, mm -hmm. Let's use a restaurant example. Sure. Menus, custom post type. Somebody will make that and then they'll make you know, hamburgers, pizzas, pasta dishes, mm -hmm. whatever. And then underneath those, you'll go in and you'll put your different, your different dishes. Advanced Custom Fields says, well, you can make a custom post type, but we've actually built in some logic that says, have it show up on a page. Um, have it show up on this page. Have it show up on that page. Sure. You don't necessarily need to have a custom post mm -hmm. type, which is really cool. Yeah. Then you can have it show up on post categories, yeah. which would be awesome for... If you had a blogging platform with multiple categories and yep. you had multiple authors working within these categories, yes. you could have special fields for those special yes. authors. Yes. Um, which is tremendous in the WordPress world and in the journalism world, all that fun stuff. Right. Imagine where you go into this website and you've never been there before and there's all of your form for you. Right. What's your name? How, tell us about yourself. Right. And you just go right down the list and there's none of that crap that you might see like, you know, normally in WordPress that would make it seem like this thing you've never used before. It's right. all very like form driven, which is great. Right. Um, so it's really intuitive. I really like that feature set. Mm -hmm. um, so the only real negative I have is I just wish it had the option to make the custom post type for the person who says, yes. you know what, mentally I need to organize this in right. a custom post mm -hmm. type. Yeah. Um, you can still do it. You can make a custom post type of your own and attach it to it. You just have to take that extra step to make the, the post type. Which brings us to? Which brings us to the types, which does that out of the box. Um, the, the only drawback, they're ultimately very similar. The yep. only drawback is not as intuitive. It's right. not like super difficult, but it's just not as clean and right. as elegant as I like mm -hmm. advanced custom uh, fields. And... Um, but it makes the custom post type for you, mm -hmm. or you, you can make right. it, for, you make it, you name it and all right. that fun stuff. But it, and it walks you through that. Right. Tremendous documentation as well. Right. This is something that's more intermediate to advanced, so it's important that they have that. Right. Then on the flip side, once you make it, mm -hmm. once you make your fields, their view, views tool will allow you to spit out that yeah. data on the front right. end. And this is where the freemium side of it comes into play because the views tool is $95 to download with types to do that for you, which I mean... Depending on who you are, might be well worth your money. Right. Probably argue well worth your money if this is the kind of thing you're doing. If you're this in, in depth with it, that you're creating custom pages and custom sites for, for clients or for yourself, you're probably ninety five dollars is probably a, a worthy purchase. Yeah. I mean, I we've, we've talked about this before. Yeah. I mean, if you're making a site and you're getting paid at least five hundred bucks yeah. for it, yeah. ninety five dollars is not. Yeah. I mean, you're yeah. still up. Right. Yeah. Besides your time, oh, yeah. and this is going to save you a tremendous amount you've of time. Exactly. You've right. decreased. You've heavily decreased your workload right. in that. In that sense. And if you're using a plugin like this, sure. you're building something slightly more sure. complex than sure. just your typical sure. like brochure mm -hmm. site. You know, this is something mm -hmm. that's that's got some data on it, or you're yep. doing some inventory stuff. Yep. Um, you know, it's it's doing some fun stuff right. for you. And I wanted to quickly say um, something that I don't want to miss. A lot of a lot of folks, we do listen to your feedback. A lot of folks mention you sort of like talking about what this is going to look like before they use it, mm -hmm. um, with by example. And I think one thing to note about types is that when you're talking about the custom post types, where 
with advanced fields, the first plugin we're talking about in question, if you're making a menu, for example, it's going to show up as a page or a post or whatever you're posting there, where with the custom post types with types, it's actually going to show up right on your sidebar, mm -hmm. essentially like a post or a page would, but it'll be its own separate section, which yeah. is a lot easier to organize. Yeah. Yeah. That's the custom post type. I, I wish that advanced custom fields did yeah. that out of the box, but it doesn't. Mm -hmm. That's okay. You make it on your own. Um, or use something mm -hmm. like this to do it. Use them in tandem mm -hmm. if you wanted to. Sure. You could, you could use this to just mm -hmm. make custom post types sure. um, and then use advanced custom fields to manage the fields. Sure. Um, fun stuff. Who said you can't double dip? That's right. Um, so, yeah, I mean, what are you going to do with these plugins? What is the custom fields all about? I mean, you're going to create something more... Um, like a like a menu site, like a like mm -hmm. a restaurant page. Yeah. Uh, you could even dabble in creating your own e-commerce if you don't like any of like the stuff that WooCommerce does. Mm -hmm. uh, you could create all those fields: size, dimensions, price. Yeah. You know, description. You can do all that stuff. It's a lot more work, but you have the power. Yeah, um, and advanced custom fields give you some of the more advanced custom fields, like a gallery field. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you can have a separate gallery field yep. in the back end. You yep. can have uh, you can have it go to an options mm -hmm. page where you which put all great. these options right into your theme, which would be great. Mm -hmm. PayPal fields. You can yep. limit text um, to a certain uh, uh, word uh, word yep. count or yep. character count. Um, you can do all the stuff. You can integrate yeah. Gravity Forms. You can integrate Contact Form 7. Tons of things that you can do. Yeah. Um, it's definitely a worthwhile checkout. I would definitely look at both, test both of these plugins yeah. before diving sure. in. Which one do you like mm -hmm. the most? Because um, it's how you feel and interact with it that's going to really dictate which one you should pick. Yeah, I don't in see the why end, not. they both come out to the same. They're both producing the same thing for you. It's just a matter of how you're getting there and what's more comfortable for you. Yeah. Yeah, um, you might like the views additional plugin from types because yeah. you don't want to deal with any code. Mm -hmm. uh, you might like the lightweight stuff from advanced custom fields. I mean, either one um, is a good pick. We like advanced custom fields. Mm -hmm. Other than that, post your questions below. Let us know what you want to see next. Hopefully this one helps. Hopefully you're off to build yourself yeah. a big data website. Yeah, there you go. Uh, something that the government can use. Maybe not the government. I don't know why I said that. I don't know. Well, the government's not around right now. Yeah, so. it's true. Government shut down. Um, so you can put up your own government. Start your own government movement. There you go. Uh, <laughs> go ahead and hit subscribe on YouTube. We want to hit 10,000 fans. Slocumstudio.com slash forums. Join the discussion in the forums where this video will be posted. Mm -hmm. uh, let us know what you want to see. Let us know what you like. As always, uh, brought to you by all the fun themes that we have. We got mm -hmm. three more themes coming out, so I yeah, can't wait so to launch for them. Can't wait to launch that. Minimize just hit over nine thousand uh, <laughs> downloads, which is tremendous. Um, you know uh, that we see uh, over on WordPress.org. Till next time, guys. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. <laughs>